Hey guys, here with another BIM manager tip. So highlight warnings in a model. Uh, this is a really cool uh, uh, script. So it's going to be a Dynamo script. It's very, very simple. Uh, we use the Bang package. And just to give a shout out to USCAD, this is where I learned this. Um, very simple and uh, a really nice visual way to see your uh, warnings because typically you would if you're not using some automated system to export out your warning database and then use that to kind of prioritize your warnings um, you know it's 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 kind of overwhelming to see that list of warnings if if you know especially if you have a whole bunch of them you know you go to that dialog box open it and then you know you can't copy the element IDs to find those different elements and sometimes the views when you try to orient to a certain the specific view it sometimes doesn't work and uh, if you do want to you know use the element IDs to search then you would have to export out that list so that you can copy them and then search by the element ID so um, we'll go ahead and jump into this uh, the Kind of to show you, this is essentially the note or the uh, script itself. So we have a boolean that ties into a warnings tool. Dot get warning. So all this is, is doing is getting the warnings and the element IDs. So it's getting those elements out of there, and then you can take the failing elements and tie them into a element override. Uh, just override the color and the view, and then you know uh, a color palette that you know is set to whatever color that you want. And again, you know, a nice visual way to show somebody, hey, your, your model's messed up, and this could be potentially why it's causing you a lot of issues. So, let's go. So, this is the package. So, it's the Bang package. I installed the latest version of it, um, and it works fine. I'm using Dynamo 2. So, you know, uh, I don't know if this is um, compatible with, 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 uh, demo one but you can give it a try so essentially this is what it looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and just open it real quick and we can you know take a look at it that way as well so I'm gonna close PowerPoint and in here I had that model open so this is just the Autodesk sample model the advanced architectural one um, if you don't have this you can check out their site and you can find it, the downloads on there and I think I have below the links to those locations. So just, you know, uh, select the right version and jump to it. So I'm going to open up Dynamo. It's already set to 2. And then I'll open up the script. So I have it here. So essentially this is it. I mean, you would search for your Boolean, tie that into it. Uh, make sure it's true into the uh, warnings tool. You can just come up here after you install the bang package and search warnings, or you can come down here and just uh, expand that the bangs package and then find that node itself. But if you come up here, get warnings, just choose that one and then tie in that Boolean into the toggle. And then down here, you just... Um, tie in the elements so that's going to be here if we drop down this dictionary we can see all the elements and then we can see the failing ones here and then all their element IDs as well and then this is set to auto so it should have already ran and then we can take a look at it in the model so and then you know finally just element override so tie that color in and I just use a color palette you could use whatever you want minimize this and we can now get a, a pretty good visual of what's going on in this project Let's see if we change this to um, hidden lines we can get a better visual of what's going on so um, you we can see this floor here it uh, has a warning associated with it we can show warning and then see what's going on so highlighted floors overlap um, probably the same things going on over here highlighted floors overlap um, but you know it the cool thing is that you can visually see it you can update and and uh, resolve them a little bit quicker in this view you know it's just another tool in the tool belt pretty much um, if you're not familiar with the warnings 
you would you would access that by going to your manage tab and over here to the right you can see review warnings if you click on that you can then get this list so there's not a lot here and the default Autodesk uh, sample model that you pull down will have warnings already associated with this so you can go ahead and test it um, and generally you would go through this and then you could select on certain warnings and then press show and then it'll generate a view that has it but sometimes that view isn't the best view um, so setting up a 3d view like this and then showing everything highlighting it is a nice way to kind of visually see what's going on it's also a nice way to show people what's going on with their models as well you know to give them an idea of how how many warnings and you know and talk about the potential reasons um, the model could be you know causing issues so you know after that you could either do that but you can you know show the element but you can't highlight these uh, LMI IDs so sometimes what you would do is export out this list and then you can grab those and then you can come up here <clears throat> to select by element ID and then type it in here and it'll show you that um, it'll highlight the element so there's multiple ways of doing this this is one option so hopefully it helped somebody out I appreciate you watching um, feel free to subscribe comment if you have any questions and reach out anytime thanks